I just love getting out there. Just you know, doing what I love. I just keep taking doing what I do. Work hard in school, work hard outside. If it don't pay off. My name is Kyrie Walker. I'm a ten name Royal Catholic. I'm an incoming freshman. I started playing basketball when I was seven. I was like, Dad, I want to talk to you about something. He was like, what is it? I was like, I want to play basketball. From there, I went to the gym. I never stopped. Go to school, go to the gym. Sleep. Routine every day. Been routine since I was nine. Boom, boom, boom. Over the time. Good. There you go. Very good. Very good. Kyrie has a passion for basketball. You very seldom see it with young kids. His athletic ability is off the charts. He's fast, he's big, he's strong. The only thing we really have to worry about is, is he mentally ready? He's still a kid, you know? Five, push, six, push, push, seven, eight. My high school coach and I have a, have a great relationship. I think what made it so special was the fact that he was a big disciplinarian for me. He didn't have a whole lot of leeway to screw up or else you were just running suicide. My goal was always to play in the NBA. You know, I always wanted to you know, be on that same court as you know, the Michael Jordan of the world, Kobe Bryant. So. And I always wanted to just work to get to that point. I'm gonna be like LeBron James. I can score, shoot, able to pass the ball, call for a pick and roll, you know, get to the basket. That's what I wanna be. All right, coach, talk to me a little bit about incoming freshman Kyrie Walker. Oh, oh. Kyrie's one of those guys that when the lights, you know, when they turn on, he shows up. You know, he's the number one player in the class, in the country. Probably one of those kind of guys as a coach you get every 15, 20 years, maybe. Super athlete, his mid-range game needs a little bit of work. But really what I'm concerned um, for him in the long run is just footwork. He has a goal, he wants to play in the NBA and that's his goal. And we just wanna make sure we can push him to his potential, get him to where he needs to be so when he leaves here, he can, you know, have a choice of where he wants to go. For sure, for sure. Get a string, get a string going. There you go, that's one. That's one of them. That's two. Keep it going. That's three in a row. Three in a row. Four in a row. What's up, man? You doing all right? Yeah. Kyrie. Harrison, nice to meet you, man. You too. Been talking with Coach here, man. He said you wanted to... One of the better players coming up here, we're gonna play next year, so I wanted to come here today, you know, see what you got. Kind of just watch you work a little bit. They got some tape over there, we're gonna sit down and watch. Uh, some of your clips, some of your highlights, and give you my two cents, man, to help you get up to the NBA. Thank you. I'm here to just give some advice. I've been through it, college experience, I've got the high school experience, so I'm here to try to give the best answers I can. This doesn't even look fair. I mean, y'all just, y'all pressing these boys. I mean, just stealing them. Get a strong take, don't let that dude block you. I just, I hesitated to shoot the ball just for Stephen just going completely up. You bigger than them, all them dudes, man. So just go straight up. Oh, you should've dunked that one. You done with your left hand? Yeah, I can. How, how's your defense? My defense really got, got a lot better. You know, I'm, I'm really trying to work on it more. Whether you stay at 6'5", whether you become 6'10", you know, it's not about what position you can play offensively, but it's what you can guard defensively. That's what's ultimately going to determine how, how much time you get on the floor. And that's going to allow you to be so much more versatile. Yeah. So now that we watched some tape here, saw some highlights, we're going to go on the court and just kind of talk through a few things that Coach talked about that he wanted to just see you improve upon next year. So you got to be ready to you know, lead your team. So we're going to talk a little bit about some shooting, just some footwork stuff, and then just some conditioning. Uh, you want to have efficient movement in your shot. So when you catch it, try to keep it a little bit higher. So you're going from here, it's just one motion. You step, and it's one motion up into your shot. Catch low, good. So it's almost like you're just catching here and you're going right up with it, like that. That's better. It's always left, right, left, right. So you kind of catch, left, right, shot. It's all about these building blocks. Don't dip it to come up. Just catch it right here and go straight up with it. And I remember when I first got to high school, I used to shoot, you know, from the hip. 
you know, and just getting the ball up, you know, to shoot in the right position. You know, that took me, you know, a lot of time to do that, you know, mastering, you know, one, two dribble pull-ups, just things you can go to all the time. It's things that I still do to this day, but you know, it's really putting in that time in high school to really get those things down pat. And that was you know, just a good part of, you know, my development in terms of, you know, allowing me to be a perfectionist. Shooting is all about the process. It's all about doing these types of things every single time. When you catch it, you should be low. When you jab, you should be low. When you go into your shot, you should be low. With a kid with his ability, is, you know, he can do everything. So it's really about the little things, things that he's gonna have to just be repetitious with over and over and over again. I mean, he can play all five positions. That's crazy. I've never seen anything like that ever. Be low, be low. Good balance. Yep, see the aerial. When you come into the gym, it has to be that type of focus every rep. Those are the type of things, staying low, the one, two, not dipping the basketball, being efficient on your jabs, efficient on your movements. Those are things you have to be hard on yourself with every single day. Those are the little things that I think will really help you grow and make you the player you want to be. You gotta work hard. If you don't work hard, then somebody's passing you. You know, I like people passing you. So that was the basics that I want to give you today and just encourage you, man. I mean, you got potential. I mean, you can, you can definitely be in the NBA someday. Definitely, you know, be the player that you want to be. But you got to put in that work. Pass up. Oh, man. Coach. Okay, appreciate it. No problem, folks.